Uh, hello Brown Owls, uh, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, everyone at Bluebird is really missing you, so as soon as this is over we'll all be able to come back to school. Uh, this is going to be your fourth pack. Uh, in this pack it's going to come with a ruler and today I'm going to talk to you about your maths work which you're going to need to use this ruler for. If you've got any questions about this pack or any of the ones that we've already sent you, uh, you can send a message to us on the Bluebird Facebook page and one of us will get back to you as quick as we can. Also, if you want mummy or daddy to take a video of you, you can uh, ask us any questions that you want, anything at all, and you can send that video to the Facebook page and one of us will get back to you as soon as we can. So, I'm going to talk to you about your maths and the IPC. Uh, for your first maths worksheet, what you need to do is use your ruler, which is in centimetres, so you've got from 0 to 20, and on the first worksheet you need to draw some lines. So down here it tells you how long the line needs to be. The first one is 2 centimetres, 5 centimetres, 10 centimetres, 4 centimetres, 6 centimetres, 3 and 9 centimetres. So you take a pencil and your ruler, you put the ruler along there, and you just need to draw a line from the zero to the two. And you need to draw a line for each one of these measurements. For your next worksheet, um, we have got Foxy Beard's hiding place. So in the middle of this maze, Foxy Beard is hiding here. You've got one, two, three places to start from. You need to draw a line from one of these start places to where Foxy Beard is hiding his treasure. We've got the wrong island here and a wrong island here. This is the one that you need to find. So get a pencil and you need to draw a line to this hiding place. For your next mass worksheet, uh, what we've got is a rocket ship, an astronaut, a UFO, a shooting star, a robot and a planet. Again, you need to use your ruler and you need to measure along the line down the middle of the item. So for the first one, your rocket ship, there's a line starting from here going to the top of the rocket. So you'd get your ruler and you'd measure along the line and it would be seven centimeters or eight centimeters and you need to write eight centimeters in the answer box there. And do that for each one of these items on the worksheet. Now for your next IPC, uh, we've mixed it with your ICT, the work that we did in the computer room. So all of these five questions, if you type them in on Google, it will come up with the answer that you need. So question one, what does Anchor What mean in English? If you write that in Google, it will tell you the answer to write below. Question two, when was Anchor What built? Again, write it in on Google and write your answer down there. When was Anchor What added to the Cambodian flag? You need to write the date down here. What movie did the Temple Ta Prom appear in? So find out the answer and write it down. And the last question, how long did it take to build Anchor Wat? And just write your answer below. Now for your next mass one, you've got four ladders. You've got the tallest ladder and the shortest ladder. You need to cut these ladders out. And if you don't have a spare piece of paper, use the back of one of the other worksheets. And once you've cut them out, you can glue them from the shortest all the way to the longest on the back of a worksheet, okay? Right, for your next uh, IPC one, we've got some map skills. So you need to look at the different objects. So we've got a tree up here, um, and we've got a water fountain here, a bridge. So you've got all the key words down here. Tree, ice cream, park bench, play area, trash can, fountain, and bridge. What you need to do is write down which square each of those items is in. So here we've got the play area in B4. So if we go along to B and then up to 4, you can see there's a play area in this square. And then play area E2. So if you go down to E and then go 1, 2, you can see that there's a play area in E2. So on the worksheet that I've done for you, I've done these extra four items. You've got the restroom, the bike trail, cotton candy machine and balloons and I've drawn them on. So the restroom is D2. So if we go down to D and then go up 2, you can see I've drawn a picture of a toilet there. Uh, the cotton candy I've put down in B2. So if you go to B and then up 2, you've got your cotton candy here. So you need to draw the pictures and write the words down here. Just the restroom, cotton candy, 
bike trail and balloons and then you can put them anywhere on the grid that you want. And for the first items all you need to do is just write down where each one is. So if it's the ice cream machine you find the ice cream machine is in A2. If it's a tree you go A3 or A5 and just write down the answers in the boxes. Okay and your next mass one we've got the ladders again so what you need to do on this is measure the lengths of the ladder and then fill in the blank spaces below with the correct measurement. Again, use your ruler, you've got the centimetres on there, you just need to fill in the blank spaces. Okay, so for the next one we've got a treasure map. And you all remember doing your own treasure map in class. For this one, you've already got the map with the land here. What you need to do is draw on certain things. So we've got a pirate ship, a lake, a palm tree, and X marks the spot for your treasure. So you need to put all of these things on your map. So for a pirate ship, it wouldn't be on land, so you'd need to do it around the edge in the sea. A lake, you could do in the middle. Um, a palm tree, anywhere you want. And then you have to hide your treasure somewhere on the map and then put an X for X marks the spot to where your treasure is. Okay, another mass one, uh, more measuring. So again, we've got the four ladders you need to cut out the different measurements. We've got 10 centimetres, 3 centimetres, 7 centimetres and 5 centimetres. And you need to measure each ladder and then decide which one of these measurements you need to glue in these four spaces. Okay? And then your last IPC worksheet for this week. You've got a big rocket ship and you have to write down the 10 things I would take to space in my rocket. So think of the 10, your 10 favorite things that you'd want to take into space. It could be food, it could be toys, it could be a pet or a family member, and you just need to write down your 10 favorite things on the rocket ship. Okay? As I say, if you've got any questions about the booklet from this week or for the last three booklets we've sent, just send us a message on our Facebook Bluebird page and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, bye-bye, brown owls.